All right, guys, we're live recording a quick playback of the DOS Daleks speed code project. So let me just pull up some notes here and then start going over what happens in the run. So three, two, one, go. All right, so what you're seeing now is something called speed coding. We're writing TI basic code as fast as possible by using the menus available for the different programming tokens in combination with the catalog, which has a list of every possible token and some other techniques to get every bit of code, every single byte in as fast as possible. The tokens are usually one byte. Um, so like when you see min and all those little words, those are like tokens, those are like bytes and then they get interpreted in TI basic. Now, the code that is being written is for a game called Daleks. The game Daleks originally came out for the DOS operating system. You play as the doctor, like Doctor Who, you get chased by Daleks and they uh, chase you optimally once each turn. You have eight direction movement or can stay in the same place. And then you can, as you're seeing here now, warp with the use of the TARDIS anywhere on the map, but you don't want to use the warp too much usually in casual play because it can result in you getting owned by the Daleks. There's no guarantee of safety with the use of the TARDIS because it's infinite. Now what you also see here is um, when those Daleks got close to me, I used the sonic screwdriver to kill any Daleks that were immediately surrounding me and not have to worry about them colliding into me. So then you can see that again here in this one. Um, Daleks actually can collide into each other, and that is another way of killing them. Um, so we're doing 10 levels of this, or really nine levels up to the first 10 enemies to demonstrate how the gameplay works. And it gets a little bit slower as the game goes further, um, mostly because we are, well, two reasons really. One, each increasing Dalek causes more processing time for the basic interpreter. Uh, basic is really slow. It's, we're getting like one f update of the screen every two seconds or so. Uh, sometimes closer to one second depending on the level. Um, and some other r ran RNG lag as you might call it. Um, another great thing I did with this run is I programmed a extra unnecessary random call into the game. So the game actually has a bug intentionally so that the RNG is more easily manipulated. I think you could do up to uh, the first 100 levels of this game if you were to max out the use of the lists. Lists are one of the data types used in BASIC to store data. So you could have up to 100 Daleks in one list and that would probably work. Um, it might be nine, it might be 99 is the list list limit anyway. The point is that you could do somewhere around that many enemies on screen and it, it would function though it wouldn't be very fast. It would, it would be like quite slow to watch. So we did this this way for a reason. Uh, you can see here warping to cause the Daleks to chase you optimally um, as a way of manipulating them to run into each other. I, I like that little trick. And you can kind of tell probably as the, we're getting into later levels, the the movement loop is slowing down. We're having to wait longer and longer. But there's some trickery used here. See, we, we go down all the way to the right to get convinced that block to chase us into one of his other dead Dalek clumps, and then we convince that one to chase us back up all the way into that clump. There's a score displayed between each level, but it's difficult to see it with the, uh, you know, the uh, tassing aspect, clearing the score out as, as fast as possible. There was the use of the targets again.
And there was another use of the TARDIS to get those guys to run into each other. And now it's just waiting for these guys to finish out the level. Alright, that is the TAS of DOS Daleks cloned to the TI-83, TASing the coding of the clone and then TASing the first nine levels of gameplay. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed watching the TAS, there are several others, lots of Game Boy related content on the channel. So if you like that, drop a like on the video. Feel free to subscribe for more TASing and Game Boy related content.